Well, hello, and welcome to this week's tune-up tip, where we're going to explore being fearless around death and dying. As a psychotherapist for the last 15 years in New York and L.A., I can honestly say that fear of death is probably one of the top five fears that people come in with. There is fear about your parents dying, there's fear about something happening to your children, and our own mortality, fear of our own death. So, I want you to ask yourself, how fearless do you feel about death? And how much have you explored it? So with my clients, a lot of the work that I do around this fear is I ask them, what do they think happens when you die? And I also call it transitioning, which really annoys my sister. She's like, why do you call it transitioning? It's death. Well, I guess it reflects what I believe. But the question is, what do you believe happens to you after you die? Really think about that. And I encourage my clients to go on a journey, start exploring, start reading people who are writing about death and dying, no matter how old you are. You don't have to wait until you're diagnosed with something or someone dies, which most of us do anyway, but you don't have to, in order to really figure out your feelings and your thoughts about death and dying. And again, being fearless about death just means letting your fear inform you, but not letting it totally dominate you, not letting your mafia mind make you hysterical about death, because it can. So I want to encourage you to take this journey yourself and start to really get dialed into what you think happens. Read, get illuminated about this, talk to other people. There's tons of people who do this for a living, hospice workers. They are very, very well schooled about death and dying. So. I'm curious to see what you have to say about fearlessly looking at death and dying. So please drop a comment here. If you like this tip, please like it on Facebook and Twitter. I hope you have an amazing week. And as always, take care of you.